Well, President Trump and President al-Sisi of Egypt had their meeting today. Everything went great from the reports that we're getting. In fact, they pledged and reaffirmed their alliance to what Egypt's president calls fighting the satanic ideology of terrorism. We know that Egypt has been plagued by terrorism. The Muslim Brotherhood is running wild over there, guys. You got parts of ISIS there that are in the Sinai Peninsula causing all kinds of problems there as well, amongst other terrorist groups that are trying their best to destroy Egypt, persecute Christians. Well, they did reaffirm their relationship today. Trump was very satisfied, very happy with the meeting, has a lot of respect uh, for al-Sisi. And again, they described terrorism as being a, quote, satanic ideology during the meeting that President Sisi had with Donald Trump in the Oval Office. Now, during the brief remarks in front of the reporters, al-Sisi referred to terrorism, calling it the satanic ideology and an evil one that that terrorizes innocent civilians, according to Nadia de Blasi, the senior White House correspondent in Washington, D.C., for Al Arabi, Arabia TV and NBC TV. The official White House translation of the remarks said that Al Sisi referred to an evil ideology. Now, he goes on to say here that I've had a deep appreciation and, admi- and admiration of your, your, your unique personality referring to Trump, especially as you are standing very strong in the counterterrorism field, Cece said, to counter this satanic ideology that is claiming innocent lives, and that is, oh, as I lose my headphone here, that is claiming innocent lives, and that is bringing devastation to communities and to nations, and that is terrorizing innocent people. They're pledging this commitment here to, to help stop this and bring this to an end, Egypt and really all of the Middle East for that matter. CC promised Trump, quote, you'll find me supporting you very strongly and very earnestly in finding a solution to the problem of the century, that being terrorism. Trump committed to fighting terrorism with al-Sisi, continuing the conversation. He started with the Egyptian president during a visit they had at New- or in New York back in September. Trump committed to fighting terrorism with al-Sisi, doing whatever they can by any means to stop it. Now, also, what you guys can expect is some sort of an alliance forming within the Middle East and the United States, a coalition, if you will. Trump is trying right now his best to, you know, rebuild those ties between our Arab, our Arab allies that were destroyed by former President Barack Obama when he just, I mean, really, guys, everything we did with the Arab Spring... Back in 2011, they weren't happy with him. Trump has met recently with the Iraqi Prime Minister, Hader. Now he's met with President Sisi of Egypt. And on Wednesday, he'll meet with King Abdullah of Jordan, another key ally of ours in the Middle East. And then on Thursday and Friday this week, he'll be meeting with China's President Jinping for two days in Mar-a-Lago, Florida. So all kinds of things are going on right now, guys, as people are getting into position We're on the brink of war, especially with North Korea. What will happen? It'll be interesting to see how Trump handles all of this as he looks to rebuild our allies, make our own military strong. Let's hope we don't have to use it. But I wouldn't be surprised if at some point we have no other choice. Guys, I'll put the link below. You can check it out. Subscribe to me here, CardsFan480. Thank you so much to all the new subscribers that have joined up recently. I greatly appreciate your support. I really do. Most importantly, guys, for those of you watching, if you've never given your life to Jesus Christ, if you'd like to, if you'd like to be born again, come into the kingdom of God. We can have everlasting life and a home in heaven for eternity. Please let me know. It would be an honor for me to pray with you. It really would. Uh, Nothing would bring me more joy than to help bring others to Christ. So let me know. I'll continue to keep you guys up to speed here on all the latest breaking news, current world events, and Bible prophecy updates as we get closer and closer to the return of Jesus Christ. We don't know the day or the hour that he's coming, but we can see the day approaching. That'll be a great day. I'll be back with more, guys. Take care. Be safe out there. God bless. And I'll talk to you soon.